Hi everybody, it's Brian Foote here with, uh, with a quick one for you. Just three things that uh, I want you to know uh, that I wish that I knew a lot sooner in my career. Uh, the first one is uh, a highly quoted and uh, often ignored uh, quote from uh, John Maynard Keynes, the, the great uh, economist, but also the really great uh, investor. I mean, his track record as an investor was, uh, was very strong. Uh, he said that markets can stay irrational for longer than you can stay solvent. What does that mean? In an environment where you see expensive stocks, your, your tendency would be, as a value investor, to want to short them. Be very, very careful. Uh, people can and will overpay and carry things to stratospheric valuations. I saw this back in 1999 and 2000. The aftermath of that was incredible with tech stocks. I've seen that across a couple of cycles in energy um, and, uh, and, and, and other things. You're seeing right now how people are paying extreme valuations for a very limited set of stocks. And uh, over time, uh, the valuation, the value of a business does catch up to the price. Uh, that's, that's really a... Uh, um, a, a very high probability. Uh, the problem is that you could short a stock at 100 and watch it go to 200. And uh, that often happens not just with tech stocks, but with anything where people can talk about open-ended uh, growth. The second thing uh, is that I wish I knew sooner, but uh, it should be intuitive to you, is always look at the competition. Always look at the market size. Uh, people talk about total addressable market. Uh, that's about counting, right? There's eight-ish billion people on the planet. Um, if you want to sell hamburgers to eight billion people, um, you're going to have to consider their incomes. Uh, hamburger on my shirt. This is a In-N-Out Burger 75th anniversary shirt I have here. Uh, eight billion people are not going to consume hamburgers uh, three meals a day. If McDonald's decided to come out and say to people that our addressable market is 24 billion hamburgers daily, uh, you would have to view that with skepticism. They wouldn't, but some of that kind of stuff is being said by uh, people who love Tesla, that uh, everybody in the United States would be driving a Tesla car, or every computer will refresh every single year. People will go out and spend $1,200 for a brand new laptop, uh, and, and, and you can actually, with ease, look at a total addressable market by looking at the number of people who would buy a product, right? Again, the hamburger uh, analysis uh, is, is a basic one, but, uh, but the car analysis is not, right? You, you'll, you'll roughly sell 18 million cars in the United States every year, and some of them will not include uh, um, you know, your, your favorite brand, Ford and, and GM and, and Toyota will, will have their market share. So consider that when looking at, uh, at car manufacturers or semiconductor manufacturers or, or even Apple, right? Uh, the total addressable market for, uh, for laptops or iPhones uh, is somewhat of, a, of a, uh, a growing one, but uh, not sometimes as growthy as people think. Again, if you're encouraged to short a stock, go back to thing one that I just told you, uh, people can overpay and uh, the market can remain irrational. Uh, the final thing that, that uh, I, I learned um, a couple of years after starting is that, uh, and you should think about this now, is always go straight to the cash generation of a company. I, I harp on this. You could debate me on it, but at the heart of every business, in private or public, is its ability to generate cash in excess of its needs. And the second piece is to generate return on invested capital, right? There are some businesses that cosmetically look like they're earning. There's a lot of uh, adjusted earnings reported and EBITDA, which we, we, we harp on as well. But if you really want a gut check, you should go straight to the cash flow statement. Uh, it's, uh, it, it's really the source of, of, of the information about the earnings power of your business. Uh, I'll have more. Sorry, I have some allergies, so I apologize for the production quality today, but I wanted to get these three things out. One, be careful shorting. People can overpay. Number two, always look at the competition and the addressable market. Consider the fact that that addressable market can be competed away by other competitors and can be smaller than you think. And number three, go to the heart of the 
matter, and that's a cash generation cash flow statement. Thanks, and uh, bye for now.